Hey guys, it's Sasha, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some weird yet useful life hacks. And before we get any further into this, I just wanted to say sorry for this like kind of weird background. I'm actually not at home right now. I am in Mexico because I'm on fall break, which means I have two weeks off of school, which is awesome because it leaves me tons of time to film and make more content for you guys. But all excuses aside, let's just get back into what this video is about. I just found these life hacks very interesting, so I thought I would share them with you guys, so hopefully you can learn and take something from this video. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. So when I found this life hack, I was absolutely mind blown, because you can make your own ice cream in a bag in less than 10 minutes. So the first thing I did was I just put a plastic bag inside a cup and put a rubber band around it to hold the bag in place, but this is completely optional. And then I just took one cup of heavy whipping cream and I poured that into the cup. And then you're gonna wanna add two tablespoons of sugar. And then it is time to add your flavors. So you can add whatever kinds of extracts you wanted to, but I started off by making root beer ice cream using root beer extract. So all I did was add one teaspoon of it, and one teaspoon is the perfect amount, so don't worry about adding any more or any less. And then I just got a huge bag of ice and I bought some ice cream salts, which was just a dollar for this huge box of it. So that's definitely a steal. And then I just added a ton of ice cream salts to the bag of ice. Then I just removed the bag from the cup, mixed it around a little bit, and then put that in the bag of ice and salt. Now I'm gonna show you another really good type of ice cream you can make. So I decided to try out some mint ice cream, which was definitely the best one out of the two I made. So just add, you know, your one teaspoon of mint extract, and then I added some green food coloring to give it the green mint chocolate chip color. One tip I have is to double bag the bags, if that makes sense. That way in case the bag on the inside leaks, it doesn't go through and get all over your hands because there's another bag on the outside. Then I went and added some chocolate chips to make a mint chocolate chip ice cream. And then I just placed that bag inside of the ice and salt bag. <laughs> and then I just mixed it together for about five to 10 minutes. And I recommend using gloves, but I didn't have any, so I just used a towel because it gets very, very cold. And as you can see, it turned into a very icy and frothy consistency. And I was actually mind blown at how good this tasted. And I definitely recommend that you guys try this one out. So let's say you're baking something and it only calls for egg whites. A really easy way to remove the yolk is to use a regular plastic water bottle and to suck up the yolk. And this works perfectly. Grease stains are extremely annoying and definitely not a pretty sight. And your solution to get rid of these is bread. Bread actually absorbs the grease really well and leaves it basically spotless. I know this one may sound weird, but hey, it works. This next life hack is to help stop flour and all of that stuff from flying in the air when you turn on a mixer while baking. And all you need to do is to take a marker and align the two holes in the mixer that the two little whisks would go in. And you wanna line that up with the center of the plate and draw two dots, if that makes sense. And then I decided to just use a screwdriver and poke a hole through both dots. Once both of the holes were made, I just took both of the whisks, stuck them through the holes, and as you can see on one of the whisk things, there's a little like ring around the outside making it bigger. So all I had to do is just push it through all the way and it, it went through, you don't have to do anything extra or cut the hole any bigger. And then put those into the mixer like you regularly would. Start it up and then start stirring and the plate will catch anything that would potentially fly in the air. Dusting is extremely annoying, especially when you think you've swept everything up, but there's still that line of dust. Well, your solution to this is duct tape. Simply line the dustpan with a piece of duct tape and sweep. 
And I was actually mind blown at how well this works because there was no line residue at all. And one really easy way to store the duct tape is to just keep it on the handle of the dustpan. Whenever I cooked something and the recipe called for an onion, I would always dread cutting the onion because my eyes would just water and it would burn really bad. And the solution to this is to just simply chew a piece of mint gum. And I can't even explain how well this worked. I was actually extremely surprised. The struggle of opening a brand new milk carton or a water bottle can be tough. And an easy but yet extremely weird solution to this is to use a tennis ball cut in half. The rubber grips the lids extremely well and any lid that's smaller than the circumference of a tennis ball will open like a charm. And of course, there are several cans where the tennis ball just won't fit over the surface. For instance, this can of pizza sauce. And all you need to do for this is to just tie a rubber band around the lid and it works really well. So if you've ever wanted to make popcorn but you don't have anything to pop it in, this is the life hack for you. So you're just going to need a paper bag and you're going to want to fill the paper bag with as much popcorn as you want. I wouldn't recommend filling it halfway with kernels or anything because then it would just get too crazy but just fill it like a little bit on the bottom of the paper bag. And then you're going to want to take the bag, close it and fold it down a little bit and then microwave it for two minutes maximum and this works just the same as anything else would except don't use the same bag twice because then there's a chance that it will catch on fire. So just to be safe, if you're making a few bags, make sure not to reuse the same one more than once. This next life hack is to help with stale bagels or bread and to make them not stale anymore. So all you're gonna wanna do is to take a paper towel and drench it in water and then obviously wring it out so the paper towel isn't dripping but so it's damp. And then wrap the bagel with the damp paper towel. Once you've wrapped up the bagel, you're just gonna wanna microwave it for 20 seconds and then unwrap it and you'll have a perfectly regular, fresh tasting bagel. <laughs> This last life hack is for when you have a dirty piece of glass and as you can see, there's some dust on it. It's kind of hard to see, but I can guarantee you there was dust on it and this was just a piece of glass from a picture frame that I had. And so the best thing to use for this is to actually use a coffee filter because it won't leave any lint behind like a paper towel would and it works perfectly. Now obviously you don't wanna use a bunch of coffee filters to clean your windows or anything, but definitely for smaller pieces of glass, like for instance, this picture frame, it works very well. So I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, definitely give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel by clicking the big red subscribe button down below. And to be notified when I post a new video, turn on my post notifications. It's just this little bell icon right next to the subscribe button. So you guys should do that. <laughs> And while you're down there subscribing, you might as well comment down below which life hack you like the most because I will be going through all the comments and I'll try to reply to as many of them as I can. Also, if you guys didn't know this already, I actually have a vlog channel and I've been working on becoming more active on there. So definitely go check it out and subscribe. The link will be in the description box down below. And like always, all of my social media is linked in the description box down below. I've got Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Musical.ly, plus a whole bunch more. So make sure to go follow me on everything. Well, that about wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, deuces.